any good parfait, first we have to make our granola. So that's what we're going to get started for you guys. This is a really easy recipe with easy cleanup because everything's just going to get dumped into one bowl and thrown in the oven. So let's get started. All right, Memphis, we're going to have four cups of old fashioned oats that we're going to dump in there first. Just plain old fashioned rolled oats. Then we've got one and a half cup of raw nuts or seeds of your choice. Whatever you got laying around the house, walnuts, pecans, peanuts. All right, we need a teaspoon of salt. Very nice. Half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, which is optional. If you don't have cinnamon, just leave it out. It's going to be granola at the end, nevertheless. Same thing goes for a teaspoon of vanilla, or if you want to add coconut flakes or something crazy, that's all optional. You can make it how you want it. Next thing we need is half a cup of oil. You can use olive oil, coconut oil, canola oil. Does not matter. Yummy. Okay, and then you're gonna get half a cup of syrup, honey, maple syrup. I think we chose maple, right? You can use corn syrup if you'd like. All right, now, this is gonna be at the end. You could add this before you put it in the oven, but it's gonna shrink up a little bit. This is two thirds a cup of dried fruit. Now, if you're gonna use big chunks of dried fruit, like dates or apricots, you're gonna to wanna to chop them up first. We've got what? Two thirds of cups. Craisins, right? Two thirds of cup of craisins, awesome. All right, stir it up. We've got our oven preheated at 350 degrees. And we're going to bake this until it changes colors and it's slightly golden, which is about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. No two ovens are the same. I'm going to put some parchment paper or the equivalent of on here so that I don't have to scrub this pan later. Looking good. spread it out on there. And this is going to be the topping for our parfait. And I'm going to show you how to make that after we pull this out of the oven and we're going to let it cool off. All right. All right, granola's going in. About 20 to 25 minutes. All right, we'll let this cool off for two minutes, 10 minutes or so, and we're gonna sprinkle on our fruit. All right, now that your granola is ready, you can party on with parfaits, camping, hiking, or you can just eat it as cereal.